Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. And, uh... <clears throat> I'm redoing this video. Well, I don't know why. I can't fucking find it. It was on my phone. I must have deleted it by accident. Okay, so, uh... Lots of you guys want to know the story on this thing. Boom. 52 GMC. I said I only needed it. I only grabbed it for parts, right? I sold the cab to... Mr. DVS05 for half the price they paid for the truck, which is cool. He's going to put that on his Cummins bogger. He's got a 97 Cummins 12 valve standard. That's going to be on it. So, yeah, okay, well, I got the box. And in one video, I made a quick little reference to my 47. So, uh, let's go check this thing out. The wind's probably going to make some noise in the camera, but. Well, that's what you gotta deal with. There she is. Um, it's the next military truck. It's a U.S. Air Force truck from Arizona. It's on the frame jig. Well, I was debating last time whether I should tell you guys. The snow is kind of deep there, and I'm only in shoes, so. It's actually pretty solid, it's pretty straight. There's a ding in the roof and a ding in the fender on the other side. So I like this front end better than the GMC ones. It's way nicer. And I know you guys, a bunch of you guys are like, oh, you gotta put uh, this in there, you're gonna put the big lock in there, you're gonna do that, do this, do that. One guy, one guy got it right. I forget his name right now, but it's gonna be a 12 valve Cummins with an Eaton 10 speed. It's going to be uh, airbagged and dropped to the ground. Rat rod. I know I've been getting some, uh, I got a comment too saying, uh, ah, you should make it look really nice. Those trucks are worth money. Well, okay, maybe really nice or worth money, but I'm not a nice making kind of guy. I'm a uh, cool or fast or, ah, I, I don't have the patience to make things nice. Jeff, uh, Jeff knows that. <laughs> but anyways, so that's what's up with that. And I'm not going to be starting on that until the Camaro's done. And <coughs> I, got more, I almost have this van buttoned up there. I've been having lots of trouble with uh, getting some help for certain things and this and that. But I do have Eve that helped out. Luke and Aaron last night came over. Oh, it's warm in here. I love it. Luke and Aaron came over last night. You slapped the engine in there. The new one. Born again. I just gotta start hooking everything else back up. But the uh, both motor mounts on the side are hooked up. So uh, we're gonna start with that tonight. Or try to finish this tonight. I wanna hear it run. Take a little test drive. I got my back brakes. I don't think I'll be able to install them tonight. But the uh, arrows in the shop. Yay! being used as a bench. Awesome. Uh, a tractor. Tractor's still here. I haven't touched it yet. I need to go in the back in a pile of snow and get some parts. Um, this is nice and warm for uh, 200 cigarettes. There's the junker. Dirt bike. 2005 Suzuki. KX85. If anybody's interested, 1500 bucks. Eh, we're making an offer, whatever. <coughs> Runs pretty good. I need to get rid of it. I need some extra cash so I can uh, finish the Camaro. I'm supposed to go get a torque converter tonight, a used one, 5200 stall. <coughs> Find out, 400 bucks. I'm just waiting on the guy to reply, but. You know that Kijiji thing. People don't like replying. Whee! So yeah, the plan is to uh, work on this tonight and uh, fucking get her done. I actually fucked up. Yesterday I was all in a panic to fucking get it up in here so I could work on it by myself today. And well, we did get it up. Uh, okay, I'll turn the fucking light on. 
When I did get it up, I forgot to put my water pump pulley. Fuck sakes. So now this has to come back down. Or just this side, I figure. If I could bring this side down and uh, just tuck her sideways, I could fucking probably put that on. So we're going to try that right now. I try that right now. I shut the phone off, drop the car, undo the bolts on top, sit down, lift the van so the engine tilts this way, and try to get on there. Wish me luck. Okay, well, I dropped that down, and uh, it worked perfectly. I'm gonna bolt it back on now and put this back into place, start bolting everything back up. Yay! Alright, so, uh, this is how you operate a loader with all of your best friends in here. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to go put some hay with some Tim Hortons. We just had some smile oh, cookies. Yeah. So oh, the door is open. Oh, the door is going to get moved. <laughs> this is fun. So yeah, go support your smile cookies. It's smile cookie week. Enough of that silliness. I got my motivation in here. They're gonna make me work. Get to work. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put some more shit together. We just did the, uh, that pulley right there. Now we're gonna do some uh, motor mounts and brackets back here. You can actually see what I'm doing. So now we're putting it in this bracket. We got this bolt, that bolt, a bolt at the back, bolt on the other side and one in the center while they sit on their asses over there and do nothing. Say hi to the YouTubers. Hi! They're so friendly. It's like the first women that have ever been in the shop in like 17 years. Huh. All right. Oh yeah. That trick worked good. Got a goggle boy in the shop without goggles. Hey. So, um, this wire here was fucking cur smashed from the connecting rod. But, uh, I don't know if that's from the connecting rod, but it sure got fucking rotten really fast. There, and. Let's put some light on the situation here. Oh, yeah. See right there, it's all cur rotten. There, finally into focus. So we're gonna replace that chunk from there to there to the clip. And then uh, just put the EGR on from the other one, the one that's not smashed. After that, after the wiring's fixed, I'm gonna put in the distributor, uh, not the distributor, the alternator. And then I uh, have my belts all set up. Plug in my wires on this side, and then uh, we'll go for test drive. Test drive. Test drive. All right. I got the alternator in. It's back there. I didn't really bolt it down there. I just could have bolted on the bolts. And now we're gonna put the uh, AC compressor in place. Just goes right there. Slides on there. On these two uh, studs. Yeah. Boom, boom, pow. And then we can put our belt on and whatnot. So, okay.
I guess I didn't really turn out like I wanted it to. Fuck. Alright, we got all the belts, uh, or all the belts, we got the one belt on. So that's all done. Uh, tightened up that bracket there. That's only, uh, the tranny's not leaking, that's just from there. The exhaust to do, I gotta get some new bolts. I don't feel like looking through my bins, so I'll probably wait for tomorrow. I put the uh, power steering hose up, so that's good to go. Now, as far as under here, I still got to get a new mount here, so uh, I'm just going to tighten that as nice as I can. Up there, I have a really tough fucker to get. can barely get anything in there, so uh, I'm just going to go on the other side. Put the, I'm going to go from the top, put the other one on. And then uh, put the bolt through. I think I could put the bolt through first. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try it. Okay, bye. All right. I took the uh, sled out for its official first ride there. That was fun. I uh, went to the back, stripped this piece of wire out of a car. Actually, <laughs> pulled positive my bobbler out of a Camaro. One of the parts cars. The other side to the... Whatever, I got the positive part. So, I'm just gonna solder that part together. And then these parts together. I was gonna take that all apart, but I said fuck it, I'm just gonna take that off, clean that up. It's gonna be pretty pretty. Okay, let's go. All right, we got that soldered, the other piece soldered. We're gonna tape that up. And uh, I'll see if I can start plugging some wires. Plug some wires, put the fuse panel box thing, my finger, it's right there. No, it's not right there. It's right up there. Boom. And I put everything back, see how far we can get. Got about uh, 20 minutes before I go to bed, so let's go. Alright, well, I got a lot done tonight, but still some stuff to go. I didn't put that in yet, and uh, there's a few more connectors broken behind. And the exhaust. But we will definitely, definitely be firing this thing up tomorrow. I'll see if we get to roll up this little bit of shit that I got there. And uh, hopefully I can. Hopefully you guys see this tomorrow morning. And, uh, okay. Ching chong chow. For now.